So lads, uh, another red card today, this time it's for us this afternoon with uh, Milner getting sent off. Um, what are your thoughts on the game overall? Disappointed, really disappointed. Um, but we got off to a great start, you know, we, we nicked the lead. Um, they had a spell then just after getting control possession, which we expected. Um, you know, then we, uh, we grinded that bit out and then I thought we got control, we started to look decent, we started to take control of possession. And then literally um, just a bit of an error between the back four. And then Milnes took him down and it was a red card, you know, and I don't think he was offside of money, so a bit of a mistake from our, our back four and then obviously we're down to ten men. Um, I thought for the next five minutes we, we were good. And then obviously just before half time, which was a killer, we just scored with a bit of a bit of a uh, deflected shot I think from, from uh, Paddy Miller. Which you know it's not a great time to score. I think we're getting at half time, you know, one nil there's a bit more pressure on them. And then second half, I thought we, were, you know, we defended well. And then obviously, I think there was two mistakes second half, which cost you. And if you make mistakes in big games like this, you know, you're going to get punished. Uh, so apart from the red card, what do you think was the, the the key moment of the match? Obviously, we wanted to see it out to half time. We didn't quite do that. And obviously, the red card and then the goal was, it, was that the turning point? That that goal in half time? No, I don't think so. Because um, I think like you know, we still got something to defend, still got something to hang on for um, in the second half. And I thought to be fair, we came out in the second half and for 20 minutes. I thought we did really well. And then I thought, once we got through that 20 minutes, we start, I thought we started to edge our way back into the game a little bit. But just lack of concentration um, down our left hand side um, between two players against one of their players. And he's, um, he's managed to put it in. I think that was a turning point. I think it's 2 1 because couldn't really see a way back in it from uh, after that. Mikey, is the biggest disappointment the way we sort of we held out the first start of the second half, and then all of a sudden there was a, the second, third, and fourth went in relatively quickly after that? Yeah, I think. Um, do you know what the, the lads worked hard and they were organised and you know they, they did see how it was just you know simple mistakes, simple mistakes. We had a two v one on the second goal. How we had dealt with it, I do not know. Um, the kid then you know took it in their post. The third goal credit to them. You know they flattened out our back four and they got a, an overload on one side. It was a good goal. You know I load my hands up to that and say well done to that. And then and then the fourth one again just just a misapp of communication and then um, you know Corey slipped and it's just another mistake and. You know, apart from that, I just remember limiting them to, to long shots. There was nothing, anything where I sat there and went, "Oh yeah, that's a chance." So for big spells, uh, you know, we defended really well. But unfortunately, you know, when you make mistakes, like I said before, in, in big games, you know, you're going to get punished, and that's what's happened today. So looking at it from the other point of view, uh, there's no bones about it, but Hyde are a very strong team. Yeah, yeah, they're a good team. They're, um, you know, with them and Bamber, I think they're probably the strongest two teams we've played so far in the season. Um, and that's, you know, that's one of the disappointing things because, like, for. For 40 minutes until the until the red card, I thought we were like you know doing really well, matching him up, and thought we could have come away with something if we gone in half time with full squad and uh, or full team, sorry, and um, and one nil, it might be different in the second half. So that's a disappointing thing really. But yeah, they're a good side. We know Darren and uh, and Dan McGurk up really well, so um, we know what they're about and um, got some good players on their side. Well. And like moving on to next Saturday, it doesn't get much easier the trip to the, the league leaders South Shields. Um, I'm sure you're relishing the challenge of uh, of that going up north. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we know Lee and Graham quite well as well from the, from the 18s. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a tough test. But do you know what? If, if you look at like when we're 11 v 11 there, we, we match these. They're probably one of, probably the best team we've played this season. South Shields are exactly the same. I've said it to anyone. We're, we're as good as anyone uh, when we're on it. If we can limit their mistakes, then you never know what could happen next week. And finally, Mike, stay with you. Just a little word on a uh, new signing, Joe Pugh. Yeah, delighted to get him across uh, across the line. We've, uh, we've we've known him for a long time. You know, we watched him last year actually uh, for Donny first team. He's he's a handful. You know, he's a real strong lad. Um, he's a good finisher, but his, his work ethic's uh, top notch. And you know, he's one of them players that we've had our eyes on him for a while. And and, and he's we've just been able to sort of got him from North Ferriby, so he'll be a good addition to the team. The lads will like him. I'm pretty sure the fans will love him. Cheers, lads. Cheers, lads.